He's Rush Marty, signing in. Hey, my programming allies, welcome to part 7 of the C++ and SF model 2D platform tutorial series. So, in this tutorial, we're not going to be covering the actual code. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering how do you correctly, dynamically link the SF model library to code blocks. So, you might be saying to yourself, well, we already did that. Ah, we did that, yes, but I ran into quite a few issues. So, the first issue I ran with doing the way we did it was I cannot use the audio library, the SF model audio library. Which was a major issue because if we're going to be making full blown 2D platform, we're going to need audio, we're going to need graphics, we're going to need the full 10 yards. Or is it 9 yards? I forget, I'm not American, I don't know football. So open up code blocks, and that is what we're going to be covering today is how to correctly dynamically link all of the SFM libraries to code blocks. So you want to click create new project, and you do not actually want to click SFM project here. Mm -mm, don't do that. Because that way it does not work for some reason. I Don't ask me, but in. Either I checked out the SML documentation, and the SML documentation said itself, don't do it in big bold letters. So, no, no, don't do that. So, we're going to open up an empty project actually. So, click empty project, go, and let me zoom in a second here. And then that'll take you to the setup wizard. So, you just want to click next, and then you'll see create a project tile. So, we're going to name something or something dumb like, um, how about Charles? I don't know why, I just feel like naming it that. And we're going to create this to the desktop because this is just a test just to show how to correctly dynamically link. So we're going to click next and you'll see all these options, leave them as is and click finish. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go into project and then you'll see a uh, project. There we go. And you're going to see something called build options. So project is right located at the top bar here. And you want to click left click build options. So that's going to open up this build project build options window here. So let's zoom in a minute. And you're going to see search directories. So you're going to want, it's going to be set to here. And we're going to click search directories. From there, you're going to want to click compiler here. Make sure you're selected that tab. And then you're going to want to click add. So in here, we're going to, there's a little more button here. So we're going to click browse. And now what we're browsing for is the SFML graphics library. So I have my lo mine located in the C drive, and we are going with SFML 2.4.2 because it's a newer version of SFML. And as the versions get newer, it does get updated and it does get better. So we're going to click this one. And now what we want to have in here is we want to have include. So click that include folder and click OK, and you're good to go. It'll ask you keep this as a relative path. Just click yes to that, and you, you'll sh it should look similar to this. Click OK, and you're good to go. Now we're going to want to go to Linker. In the Linker, we're going to click Add again. Click the three dot button. And then we're going to browse for the SFML library again. So that's located again in my C drive right there. And in here, we're going to want to include lib. So left click that. Click OK. Make sure it's LIB for lib. OK. Keep this as a relative path. Yes. Good to go. And OK. All right. So all we've done so far is set added include here. And lib to here. So now you're going to want to click on linker settings, and then you're going to see this add button. Left click that. And now all here, all you have to type is sfml, sfml, add a dash or hyphen, whichever it's called. And you're going to want to start with graphics. So that's g r a graph x. Click OK. And then we're going to add another one. And this one is going to be called sfml. Again, add the dash. And this one's going to be window, so that's the actual screen. Click OK, click Add again, and then we're going to add SFML dash, that's O dash, there we go, dash, SFML, and here we're going to type system, system. Click OK, and now if you guys have any additional libraries that you want to include with it, so that's the networking library or the audio library, you're going to add that here afterwards. So. The first three do matter which order they go in because window graphics is depend no window is dependent on graphics so you gotta go graphics window and then system after that then you can type your audio or your networking library so I'm gonna add the audio library so again all you have to do is type SFML add a dash mark to that and then type audio audio okay and now we're gonna add the networking library so then you just type SFML SF ML dash, add a dash to that, and then network. There we go. Just like that. All right, good to go. And from there, you are actually good to go. And then all you have to do is click OK. 
Now we can zoom out, one just minus. And now we are good to go. So now, since it is an empty project here, now we're gonna have to create a new C++ project. So all you have to do is you go file, new, file, click there, and then we're gonna go with C++, C slash C++ source. So click C++, C slash C++ source, go. And from there, you're gonna get the C++ wizard. So click next. Make your selection. If you're using C, of course, go with C. But for this tutorial, we're using C++, so we're going to go with C++. Next. And now we're going to enter the file location. Like, that's the full, ver full location of where it is. So we're going to click here. And it is located on the desktop right there. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine main because it's the main function. Click save. And you'll see these two checks, these two boxes of debug and release. Yes. We want this to be in the debug and release folder. Click finish and you are good to go. All right, so now we're gonna head on over to Google and head on over to the SFML page. And yeah, I've got a bit of a slow internet, but this slow internet is nothing compared to my brother's internet. If you move his computer a millimeter to the left, a millimeter to the right, he can't connect. And for whatever reason that is, I guess he just has a really weak connector. Cause I mean, like just one millimeter does make a big difference with this computer. So he's like always kind of, kind of scooching and nudging. Oh, getting better connection here, holding up in the air. And so it's kind of funny to see him try and connect to the internet. <laughs> Hello. 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 Miss Zoniker. Yes. Hello, Miss Zoniker. Head on over to the SFML documentation page. So all you have to do is just type in SFML and then documentation. Comes up pretty easily. And you'll say main page SFML and it's got HTTPS. Be sure you include the one that says S that verifies it is actually SFML's page. All right, and that'll take you to the basic documentation page. So here's a short example of code. So we're gonna copy this huge chunk of code here. Control C to cut. Oh, include that little semi. That little. Uh, S curly brace, control C, paste it onto our main.cpp. Let's make this big here. Let's zoom in a little too. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click build and run. And this will tell us if we are actually being statically linked to all of, I mean, not statically linked, dynamically linked to all of the actual SFML libraries. So if you guys get this error, it means you're good to go. You guys are thinking, yeah, right. I'm. If I get an error, why am I good to go? Well, this means that it actually it's actually running through the whole code. Okay, okay, okay. It's running through the whole code with no errors. At so I was attempting to fix that those annoying error messages, and I failed miserably. And then I decided it was time to hand things over to the tech guy here, my brother, Herman Nerman. So the first thing that we'll want to do is we'll open up the folder where your project is like located. And then you're going to want to open up another folder, another window, another this PC. Yeah, and then go to right where your SFML graphics library is. So I have mine located on the C drive. The C drive is actually a great spot to put it. This way you're not going to ever lose it. And be sure you go with the same version that you used for the, all the rest of the steps before this. I'm going to three, two point point. I always get this confused, but it's 2.4.2. So then you'll copy all the uh, files in the bin folder. You want to make sure that it is the bin folder. Inside there, there's all the DLLs, which is the DLL stands for dynamically linked libraries. So control A to co select everything, control C to copy, and then you're going to paste that into bin debug inside your Charles folder. I really shouldn't have named it Charles, that was probably a dumb idea. But anyways, and for there, you're not quite actually good to go, then there's one last step. Now you gotta go into the code blocks mean gw compiler folder. So that should be installed correctly onto your C drive or your D drive. Wherever you have it installed. And mine is here is located at program files x86. Right inside there, code blocks. And you see this mgw folder, you're gonna wanna go into there now. And into the bin folder there. And then the bin. So you see all these AXEs applications. You don't wanna copy those just these DLLs. So you're gonna to want to make sure you copy them all. So to copy them all, if you hold in control and then left click on them, that can copy them all. Man, slowly copy them all. Because there's one, there's a couple down here. There we go. So and then control C to copy all those. Be sure you've got all of them. 
and then all you have to do is paste them into your Charleston Chew folder. And from there, if you open her up, and it just closed out that fast, and that's because it doesn't have the correct image file in here, because we don't have an image file. But other than that, we are completely 100% dynamically linked over to SFML. So this way, if we take this, the, all these here in, inside this debug folder, we put on a computer that doesn't have cool blocks or SFML, it's going to work just fine and dandy. So anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this, and I hope this was a help to you as well, because, I mean, I struggled with figuring this out for a while there too. So this way we can use the audio library, the networking library, the graphics library, any library of SFML. So be sure, if you guys have any questions or comments about dy dynamically linking SFML, leave that down in the comment section. Be sure to leave a like before you leave. And if we guys help you out and you guys enjoy what we do, be sure to subscribe as well. I'll be seeing you tomorrow whenever tech news breaks. Marshall Marty out. Herman, Herman, out.